everybody, welcome to my channel. You'll probably see I have some super colorful makeup on. Um, I heard recently, just through social media, because I follow um, this account on Instagram, but I heard recently Blush Tribe is shutting down, they're closing down. They were a UK-based, cruelty-free um, company, and they still do have some palettes available. I have two of their palettes, the Paulina. I'm going to talk about these both a little bit later. And then I have the Hasina too, which that's what's on my eyes right now. The Paulina palette is sold out. The Hasina too, as of today, you could still get your hands on it. So this is a really, really beautiful palette. Really pigmented. Super colorful. You can definitely go crazy like I did. You could use this as a pop-up color palette. I just think the artwork on this is so stunning. So, so pretty. And the outer case is so, so pretty. And yeah, I just wanted to share it with you in case you had any interest of getting your hands on it. So if you're interested in how I got these looks, then just keep on watching. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a two-toned look here. I want to do like the greens with a purple lid and the purple with a green lid or yeah, something like that. So I am just going to dive in and I think I'm going to start with, oh my word, what should I start with? I think I'm going to start with Lee. Oh, it's been a long time since I've done a colorful look. I'll just get my mirror situated here. And I'm ready to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, she's pigmented. Okay, I need to blend that out. Well, that blended like a dang dream. Okay, I think I'm going to try Maha Mahia. Sorry if I completely butcher their names. I do not mean to. Okay, I'm just going to put that on the outer third and just a little bit up into the crease and inward. And then to deepen, I'm going to take Mari. Just keeping that on the outer third. Oop. Definitely got some fallout there. But it really deepens up nicely. Okay, let's see here. What do I want to do? I think I want to start with this one here. I'm not saying the names anymore because I don't want to butcher them. That's pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to top it with, I will say Monique, can I say that? Just a, just a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm going to go in with the black shade that's not on the brush. In the palette here. And I'm just going to make sure that's really tapped off because I'm trying not to get too much fallout. Now, 
top of the lower lash line. Where are you? Yep, I want this brush. Let's see, what should we do for the lower lash line? I think I'll just go back into that deep green shade. Take some of Aaron. I'm just playing. Okay. And I'm going to try and brush away that fallout. There. And I'm just going to pat back over it with my foundation brush. Oh. oh. Okay, well, we're going to fix that. So I'm not sure how that happened. I'm just going to go ahead and yeah. Fix that right up there. Now I think I want to do my purple liner on this eye, and I have a green liner I'm going to use as well. I'm going to use the green liner on this eye. Okay. For this eye, I'm going to do the purples in the crease. So I'm going to start off with Iris. There's really no fallout with this one. Okay, then I'm going to pick a different brush here. And I'm going to go into this purple shade here. I'm just going to work on building that up. Okay, I think I want to deepen that just a little bit more than it is. I'm going to take ash and just really lightly. And then I'm going to go back in with that purple shade. Ooh, there was some green on that brush, but that's okay. Now I'm going to go in with these two shades here. I just really want to use this blue. So I'm going to do the blue more here. Well, apparently all over. <laughs> but then I'm going to take the green and kind of blend over that. Hmm. Yeah, just a little bit of fallout here.
But I got that. Okay, let's see here. Is this green? I like the green. I think I'm going to go in. Hmm. I need to like fix that blue a little bit. It just does not look right. I'm just gonna take the green and kind of go over it a little bit. Just flipping the brush around and just playing again, you know? Just having fun. I surprisingly like this eye more than this eye so far. Okay, what do I wanna do? Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna go in with I feel like if I do this one, then it will start to look like a black eye. So maybe I'll do this one. No, I already used that one. Hmm. What about Faye? Okay, now I'm going to do, I think my, I was going to do a different liner, but I think I'm going to do my Smashbox Baller liner. Okay. Let's go ahead and curl the lashes. Oh, you know what? I know why this looks funky to me. It's because I don't have, I didn't line this upper lash line with black. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. That's what was missing for me. Very impressed. I'm very impressed with the little amount of fallout that I've gotten from this palette, considering it's so, so colorful. My little June bug is just staring out the window. My little heart is hopefully content. And then I'm just going to put on some Lancome Mascara. I'm going to kind of sit back and assess where we're at here. I feel like I need more purple up here. So let's take let's just dance now. If that helps. And let's blend out. I actually think I like the blue more with this than the green. I'm going to go back into Mina, Mina, and I'm just going to take that blue all the way in and cover that up, cover that green up. And then I think I'm going to go in with Faye and kind of pop that in the center. 
of the lid. Yeah. What do we think? These are my finished looks. <laughs> it is way more color than I have had on my eyeballs in quite some time. I definitely went through a color phase um, a year or so back. But yeah, it was definitely fun to play. Uh, I'm going to zoom you out and I'll kind of tell you a couple more things before I go. So as of me filming this on Saturday night, I'm going to have this up later, like in the middle of the night, into Sunday morning. Um, this palette is available. Um, if you have it in your makeup collection, get it out and play with it. If you don't, go to Blush Tribe and pick this up. The only other palette I have from Blush Tribe is this Paulina palette. Now, I don't know her but she does do YouTube videos, and this is a really gorgeous palette, but unfortunately, it's sold out. So, but you can still get your hands on the Hasina too. So anyway, it's a bummer to see a good, you know, quality makeup company go out of business. Um, again, I'm not sure why. I don't really need to know or anything like that like not that I ever would know but um, I don't really care to know is what I'm saying I just know that they're going out of business and I just think this is a pretty palette so I wanted to share it with you guys so you can still get your hands on it if you want to you guys stay safe stay healthy take care of yourselves take care of one another I love you all and I'll see you in my next video which will be tomorrow it is my weekly um, makeup, or not makeup, it's my weekly outfits video plus some vlog footage. So that'll be up tomorrow. All right, guys. Bye.